so hi everyone today we will be talking about google titans so it is a new architecture proposed by the team of google that may be replacing transformers soon so one issue with transformers if you have been working with llms is that they are not great with long context they are not able to handle that big a context like for example if you feed it a 200 page book it might falter on remembering everything so this has been a limitation that has been uh, quoted quite a few times now recently meta's large concept models lcm was also introduced on the same lines and i think google titans also looks to be a great contender so let's try to understand what is google titans so as mentioned it is a new family of neural architecture designed to address limitations of majorly transformer the key innovation that the team has introduced is introduction of a neural long term memory module so which is not just able to remember the current things but can remember long context as well so they have introduced a new module talking about its key features neural long term memory module so the memory module uses a surprise metric based on the gradient of the neural network concerning the input which helps determine how memorable an input is like for example you are having some general day and then a very exciting stuff happens so the depending upon the excitement that memory of the neural long term memory module will be updated so if it is a general task it might be not be of that great add on but if it is a very surprising task i think the surprise metric will be very high for that event and it would be stored in the memory for a longer time it incorporates a decay mechanism as well so i think this is quite clear as you move ahead in time you your memory start fading out so you do generally don't remember the basic stuff but all the exciting stuff you remember so this surprise metric is a big big game changer that they have introduced apart from that there is a memory management concept that they have introduced and titan has three basic variants depending upon the memory how it is getting used we won't be diving much into the technical details because the team hasn't shared any diagram also as i was looking into the paper but they have mentioned three variants of titan where the memory that they're talking about can act as a context the memory is treated as a context to the current information like for example if you're prompting an llm this memory would be added to the prompt something like this memory as a gate if you have used lstms you might be remembering that we have a gating mechanism in lstms where depending upon what to forget and what to keep is getting uh, changed every time so this can act as a memory as a gate as well where we are using this memory module in parallel to the attention mechanism where the memory act as a fading memory memory as a layer i think this is very clear where you add memory itself as a neural network layer so i think this can be a little complicated i would be explaining everything in with the use of a simple example as well so no need to worry about just bear a bit with me talking about the key features then we will be jumping on to an easy example as well so there is a persistent memory concept also titans incorporate a persistent memory which consists of learning task specific parameters and knowledge about the task so basically it stores the basic information about the task and apart from the long term memory this is a secondary memory that the titans architecture has so basically they are trying to introduce different types of memory in the architecture to remember long stuff talking about efficiency and scalability it is designed to be efficient and scalable and hence can handle context window larger than 2 million tokens this is crazy this would be around 20 to 30 books if i tell you give you an estimate apart from that the memory module is trained using a fast parallelization algorithm as well so the major add on that the team has added is memory due to which it is becoming suitable for large scale task like language modeling time series forecasting genomics etc now talking about the performance why this paper is very important because titans has outperformed transformers on various tasks as the numbers that they have shared in the paper i haven't covered it in this particular blog but you can read the paper for more details it's a very lengthy paper apart from that the model shows a competitive performance even in smaller parameter sizes compared to large models like gpt4 so titans looks to be a game changer of an architecture and incorporation of the neural long term memory module looks to add on a great value now we'll try to understand how this particular thing works using an example how do google titans work 
so imagine you are reading a very long book as you read you need to remember the important details from early chapters to understand what happened later so basically there would be two things that would be coming in one is a short term memory that you are paying attention to the current page right titans using a mechanism called attention very similar to what we have in transformers to process the immediate information right this is what is done right now as well now in the long term memory it's like remembering the key details from the early chapters right as mentioned titans have a special memory model to learn to store important information so this is how it will work so there will be two memory things that would be happening short term memory is taken care by the attention part but the long term memory is taken care by the memory stuff that we talked about earlier the long term neural network talking about some key features in simple terms the surprise based memory as i already told you uh, the longer the more surprising an event is the longer it has a chances to remain in the long term memory it is very very clear and it happens in humans also that is why the paper has been taken as trying to mimic human memory using uh, google titans forgetting less important stuff and combining short and long term memory why is this important so one thing that we all know is the transformers lacks on a number of things that we would be discussing uh, just after this so titans can be a great add on for long documents can handle books legal documents scientific papers that are of great length can be great for time series data you can analyze years and years of data now and our titan should be better at reasoning as well over longer sequences understanding with a simple example assume that you are watching a tv, uh, TV show so if titans would be there in your place titans would be paying attention to the current scene using a short term memory it will try to remember the important events from earlier episode using the long term memory forgetting minor details that aren't relevant anymore a forgetting mechanism and use all this information to understand what's happened next so this is very very similar to how humans operate as well now the important part how titans differ from transformers so the first one is memory handling as we all know transformers don't have that long term memory concept so they are completely relying on attention they are great at focusing the current context because they use attention however transformers have a limited context window so if the context you have like for example you want to push in 1000 pages of a book it can't take it because the context length is restricted right in that case transformers are of no use but in that case titans can be of great use because they have a long term and short term memory both so eventually as it would be sliding down the entire thing it would be able to remember things from starting as well so memory handling wise titans looks better they are able to handle longer context better as mentioned scalability handling longer sequences as transformers don't have this big a memory and they rely just on the short term memory that is attention titans also take a bet here that they can handle long sequences memory management forgetting less important information transformers don't have any built in mechanism to forget less important information they give equal importance to everything right so once the sentence goes in they would be treating everything equally and then calculating the attention this won't be the case with titans because they have a forgetting uh, mechanism now surprise based learning again transformer don't have it titans do have it as we have discussed a lot about surprise based learning the surprise memory we would be skipping this part combining attention and memory i think this is the most important part why titans are outperforming transformers because transformers are relying just on the short term memory part while titans can combine both attention that is the short term memory with the long term memory performance on long context is as we all know titans excel on long context tasks the numbers have been shown in the paper transformers comparatively might struggle so concluding i think google titans looks to be a great leap in the ai architecture i think in recent times what i am assuming is that since neuro ips 2024 where elia mentioned that uh the data is now saturated and the llm intelligence is also now hitting a rooftop i think companies are now looking for different architectures so recently meta released two papers one was lcm which was a breakthrough paper alongside byte latent transformers now google is coming with titans so i hope we would be seeing some major improvements in the architecture of llms now hope this was useful thanks for uh going through the video